Okay, hi, welcome. Day three, um, textured sphere. Uh, we added some um, texture to our project. And so now um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a hole into it and do a little bit of carving. So what I did is I let this sit out in the air for a little bit um, and I let it stiffen up and um, it no longer is sort of really soft which is uh, the go a good place to start when you're cutting or carving in, uh, which is why I added all my things to my project um, before I let it dry out a little bit. Basically, it's easier to carve in when something is a bit more on the, uh, on the stiffer side. So not, not completely leather hard, but you want it to be um, kind of in the middle between workable and leather hard. So let's talk about tools. Um, normally the best thing to cut clay with is an X-Acto knife. Now this is the one thing that we can't really give you um, and because it is considered a weapon at Blaine High School. So um, if you have one, great. If you don't, uh, it's not needed. You can always use your uh, paper clip very carefully make sure that whenever you use this, uh, you're um, being quite deliberate about cutting with it. Um, you can also use a real new needle tool. That's what we've, you know, that's what I like to cut clay with. Um, and you could use a punch. So we use that, you know, that end of that Sharpie, um, the top of it to punch holes for our little pieces here. Um, and now I'm going to maybe punch it in here and see how it works on um, this, this hole that we need to have. Now this isn't, I'll probably have to make it a little bit bigger, but um, so what I'm gonna do to use it is I'm gonna start twisting it and pushing it in. And at this point, um, what you need to know is that if you start to feel like your project is um, sort of bending in, then this is really truly too um, wet to use um, or too wet to uh, carve into. So notice Mine, I, as I turned it, I, I basically pushed that extra piece of clay to the inside. Now, what I can do at this point is I, I know that this is the way that I wanted it, but I think that the hole is a little bit small. So we could come back here and open this up uh, a little bit more with our, um, our needle tool, or you could find a bigger cap to um, push this out. The one thing is, is that we actually pushed that piece of clay on the inside of this. Now that's not too big of a deal if you, um, if you leave it in there, that's not a huge deal. Um, but if you want it out, you're gonna probably have to make this hole a little bit bigger. Um, and so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the back end of this and just sort of try and enlarge this a little bit by just sort of rolling this around the edge. Notice that it's making my hole just slightly bigger, but it's not really doing a ton of cutting. It's just, um, it's basically um, stretching it out. So let's see if we can get that out, and we can. So I just tipped it and it came out and there's my little piece from my, um, from my cap. The other thing that this might do is it might actually uh, give this a little bit of a popped out look. Um, if you wanna leave it like that, I kinda like it actually. Um, you can otherwise, um, you can um, tap this down to get it to uh, go back into shape or you can just very carefully um, kind of press this back. I think I'm going to leave this like this um, just because I kind of like the size of it and I like the fact that it's sort of jetting out a little bit. 
And then around the outside of this, um, I had kind of a, another circle that was right on the outside. Now you can use your um, needle tool that you made. And basically, one of the things that I really hate are dirty tools. So you may want to clean this off um, before you use it. And I just happened to have a wet towel that I was using for um, reconstituting my clay. So I just took it and cleaned it off with a wet towel. Um, and then I'm just gonna pick this up very carefully and I'm going to draw or carve in to my project. And sometimes if you have, like if you have this wet towel, you can kind of put it off to, to the side and, and uh, use it to sort of clean it up. Now, if you're carving in, you really only get maybe one try at this. So you have to be super careful. And again, I'm just using my paper clip, trying to gauge the same, space as we go around. Okay, so it's starting to look similar to what my drawing is, which is the whole point of doing this project. Now, I'm going to use a real needle tool so I can get kind of in here a little bit deeper without um, making this too wide. Um, and when you use needle tools or um, paper clips, you may find that little crumblies start to come off. Now you can get rid of those by, you know, just sort of picking them, um, but you can get rid of it by using your water as well. Um, one of the things to remember is that clay shrinks. So you need to over-exaggerate any lines that you're gonna put on to this project if you want them to stick out, okay? So again, that's what it kind of looks like. It's a little rough right now. So once I was done with my whole project and I have it so that um, it's the way that I want it, then I would come back and I would use a little bit of water and a brush to smooth this out. So you'll notice that it's looking pretty much like my project that I wanted. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, I'm going to come back with a little bit of water and try and get rid of those crumbly pieces because they're really not attractive. Again, um, if you don't get rid of it now, it's really difficult to get rid of it later. Um, so you don't want these crumbly pieces on your project. So I'm just gonna pick this up and sort of do a little bit of smoothing. And you can smooth out those edges. And if, if it's not completely coming off with water, you can come back with a tool um, sometimes I'll actually use the back side of a knife to do it, to sort of scrape a little bit of it away. Just so I don't have to, to sand it, because sanding is really annoying. Again, you can come back and do some major smoothing with a brush. And once it dries, it, you really can't tell that you did anything there, unless it's a large chunk of clay. So basically, there is my final project. I think it looks um, pretty much like uh, my my picture here. Um, basically, that's what you want it to sort of look like. You came up with the idea. Now, on the bottom of these, 
if you have your stamp, you can use it. Um, but one of the things that we need you to do is to put your uh, initials on the bottom um, just because we're going to be taking some of these things in and then um, uh, sending them through the kiln without you, we're going to have to uh, glaze these for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my initials on the bottom using my needle tool. And you can do this using your... Um, your paper clip, which is fine, that's your needle tool. And then what I want to know is what color do you want this to be? So it's either blue or white. So it's B for blue, W for white. So if I want white, I'm just going to scratch white in the bottom. Okay. And then I need to know what hour you are, one, two, or three. So make sure you put in either one for hour one, two for hour two, or three for hour three. I don't have any other hours of ceramics, but that's gonna give me an indicator of when I separate these out, um, then we know whose is whose. So initials, first and last, I need your, uh, you know, whatever hour you are, one, two, or three, and then what color you want. And this doesn't have to be super deep, but you do want to make sure that you get it in there into the clay before it dries out. Because if it does dry out, then um, we have a, a certain problem where it comes in and I don't know what color you want. And then um, I end up having to choose the color for you. All right, so that's basically it. That is the Textured Sphere uh, project. Once you have this, a great way to um, store this for transport is if you have your, your bucket, you probably have all your stuff in it. One of the things that I like to transport stuff in sometimes is a uh, yogurt container. Um, and what you can do is you can take this um, and you can also kind of store it in here because it's super tiny. Um, and it'll fit, you can just do this with it and it should be okay, okay? So that way you could transport this to Blaine um, for firing or you can just uh, leave it in the container uh, while you're working on it, that's fine too. This would be, you know, kind of a, kind of to uh, be a, a substitute for the bag. Just watch out because if you're pulling that off, sometimes you can get kind of a schmuck on the side or you can get a little, sometimes you can get um, a little mark on the side. Okay, so that's it. That's the textured sphere. Good luck. I look forward to seeing them.